Hey guys, what is going on? Operation Monarch is finally here, and in this video I'm going to break down what it's all about and how to play the limited time mode, including how you can control the two titans. So let's get straight into it. So Operation Monarch is a limited time game mode, and each match will have up to 60 players in a Battle Royale Resurgence format, separated into squads of up to 4 players. The aim of this mode is twofold. First, like the traditional Battle Royale, be the last team standing. And second, fight off the two titans of King Kong and Godzilla in the process. If you're not familiar with Resurgence, what this basically means is unlike a traditional Battle Royale, where you'll head to the Gulag if you die, Resurgence allows you to respawn as long as at least one of your squad mates stays alive for the period determined. Now the first thing you'll notice when you drop into a game is a power grab meter seen here. This is similar to a previous LTM in Warzone known as Ghosts of Verdansk, whereby you had a fear meter that increased when your operator was scared by ghosts. There was also a previous Warzone mode known as Power Grab, which had a similar format. In Ghosts of Verdansk, you were trying to keep your meter at a low score between 0 and 100, whereas in Operation Monarch, it's the opposite. The aim of the game is to increase your Power Grab meter as high as possible. You can increase the meter by collecting Monarch Intel, by picking it up from operators that are killed, completing contracts, or finding crates containing the intel, as well as other typical activities within Battle Royale, but also by literally shooting at and doing damage to King Kong and Godzilla when you see them. Increasing the power grab meter is going to grant you killstreaks and loadout drops, but also, and more importantly, it's going to give you a chance to get your hands on the Monarch Scream device, which can be achieved via the power grab meter reaching 100%. This is essentially like a killstreak, and having it will allow you to control either King Kong or Godzilla. If you manage to get your hands on the Scream device, you can select to either use Godzilla's Heat Ray or Kong's Foot Stomp, and these attacks can be directed anywhere on the Caldera map. Kong's Foot Stomp will instantly knock down enemy players in the vicinity, putting them to a last stand. Godzilla on the other hand fires his infamous Heat Ray, and this will instantly kill you rather than putting you in last stand. Whenever these attacks are occurring, you'll see it appear on your minimap as several red circles. There is, however, a second method to get your hands on the Scream device, and that is via the Titan Frenzy. At the start of an Operation Monarch match, and at another point during, you'll receive a Titan Frenzy alert, which means Kong and Godzilla are about to unleash their attacks. At this point, you can choose to either run away or try and fight back. If you choose to fight back and deal more squad damage to the monsters than any other squad during this period, then you'll receive the Scream device automatically. If you miss out on dealing the most damage, you'll still gain intel towards topping up your meter to eventually gain the Scream device via the power grab meter. King Kong will be based around the peak area on the map, where you can find the monolith with the paw markings. Godzilla on the other hand spawns from the ocean. There's up to 12 different monoliths with Godzilla markings located around the periphery of the island, for example at the lagoon, the resort, the runway and other locations, but as I mentioned, both for Kong and Godzilla, you can use the Scream device to direct their attacks anywhere on Caldera. This is a pretty wild game mode, and lessons have definitely been learned by the developers from the Krampus event, which turned a lot of people away from Warzone while it was active, so that's likely one of the reasons why Operation Monarch is its own LTM and players can still play traditional Battle Royale if they don't want to face Kong and Godzilla. Operation Monarch will be around for two weeks as a limited time mode, starting today, May 11th, until May 25th, so if you want to play, then be sure to get yourself into a match soon. Let us know in the comments below what you think of this game mode, and if you've been having fun with it so far. It's definitely an interesting crossover with Call of Duty, but it does offer something fun and different that you can try out. And if you don't like playing it, as I mentioned, you can just proceed to avoid and play normal Battle Royale. Myself and the Thak have already been having a lot of fun playing this mode, and we'll be using our live stream this Thursday evening UK time to play it some more. So click that subscribe button and come join us as we play the mode with our subs. Take care guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.